Hi guys, my name is Queen Stefaya, one of the ten dollar music artists. Um coming all the way from Anambra State, Oka to be precise, based in Lagos. Yeah, so I came from a family of six. I'm the last born of my family. And the uh, music journey has been a very interesting journey. Though it's not easy, you know, it's not really easy at all. We've been grinding for a very long time. But, you know, with God on our side, we are here today and we are making progress gradually. And okay, um, growing up and um, before I came fully into the music yes. thing, you know, I started from the church, I started singing from the choir, learning my notes and, you know, so, but with time i had to switch to something that i feel i want to reach out to everybody so basically i do afro infusion right now so music has really been i won't say it's easy but um you have to like in what you believe you know keep believing in what you do your crafts and you discover that at the end of the day when you don't give up at the end of the day you see yourself making progress so i won't tell you it's an easy journey it has not really been easy but god has really been there for us to keep grinding keep pushing and we are here today so at what point did you get to in your career that you started see your music inspiring people to the point where you got to know ten dollar music well i've been recording like i can remember when i was working at sulere you know i was recording though then i was still doing my gospel stuff but i let me just say all my money like my salary at the end of the day goes to the studio like producers are the ones eating my money whether the song <laughs> is good or not they are the ones eating the money sometimes at the end of the day you even get if you're not strong you get frustrated because at the end of the day the songs are not coming out the way you expect because you're just managing like music is not something that you just use one era to venture in and expect the best but because of the love because of what i believe in that i'll keep pushing i'm not discouraged i keep encouraging myself to do this thing if not i would have given up for a very long time but after my salary like normally the normal thing that you know girls want to have like you want to make her you want to buy handbags you want to get clothes i don't get them because my money goes straight to the studio because i believe in this thing so it has not been very smooth like that but because i love music because i believe in it that's what keeps me going okay your encounter with ten dollars well, um, you know, my encounter with ten dollar music or ten dollar himself was um let me just say it was a prayer answered because I've been praying though I was once in a record label that it didn't end well. But I didn't give up. I keep on pushing, keep on going to shows, keep on meeting people until I meet with ten dollar music. And that was where the whole thing changed. Like, it was a great privilege for me to meet such a man because he's not um, just anybody you meet normally. But God just arranged it and I'm here today. Okay, tell us about your music. Okay, um, like I said earlier, I do Afro infusion. And how do you come up with your lyrics? How do you get inspired? Mm, well, sometimes I get inspired by maybe the things around me, how I feel, or the things I see every day. Like, things around me generally. So how many songs do you have today? Mm, well, for now, though the one I have in the past, I have an EP about, let me just say, about 10. But presently, I have five. 